Have you ever been watching a Godot tutorial or looking through some source code and wondered why is there a semicolon before the SQL sign? Why are we pointing to a void? These are both examples of what's called static typing. Then you'll say we're not talking about this or this. We're talking about this. Don't worry if this seems complicated. All you need to know is different types of variables had different logic, and they'll take up different sizes of memory depending on what type of variable they are. Let's take a boolean for example, it can be either true or false. This means that it doesn't need to take up as much memory as let's say a number, because it only has two combinations, a zero or a one. And for integers, we usually use 16 bits of memory, so 16 zeros and ones. Now there's something interesting with Godot and other non-static type languages like Python, where we can change this bool value to an integer value and you can see it outputs just fine. However, since we initialize this variable to be a boolean and only has a true or false value, it will only allocate one bit to the memory, which as we stated before, is not enough to hold an integer. So now what the engine has to do in just one line of code is delete the old variable, allocate 16 new bits of memory, and then set that memory to be equal to 21. This takes up a lot of CPU processing and will slow down your code. So what we can do is make this variable statically typed by simply adding a semicolon. This will do what's called a set get function. It will set the type to whatever the type we have entered in, which is a boolean, so we'll set it to a bool, and it will get the value. So now, no matter what we do, this variable cannot be anything more than a boolean. So if you press play, you'll see it just rounds it down to the nearest boolean, which is true. This is also useful if we just want to have a null variable inside the bool, so we could set this to a bool type, which is an empty boolean. And now we have to actually set test bool inside of here and then print it out. And we can do this for all variable types. So we'll create a new variable. We'll call this num. We'll set git to 1027. We'll also do a word, which we'll set and get to a string type. So we could just say gwiz. And now these all cannot be changed to anything that's not their type. This also works for functions as well. Let's create a new function. Let's just call it add. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'll do n and m, and we're gonna simply be returning n plus m. So now if we print out add num, and let's add 23 to it, you'll see that we get 1050. However, let's make 23.45. Now if you press play, it will be a float, but we only want integers. So we can do a set function to int, and now this return will only be an integer. So if you press play, it will round it back to 1050. If you'd like to learn more about this, I will be leaving a link to the documentation in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.